In some of the previous videos, you understood as to what is motion. But the question which comes up is, how do you measure motion? Let's consider two objects. One is a human being. The other one is my famous car that I have been using in all the examples. Okay. Now there is a road that has to be travelled by the two of them. And let's say both had time of one hour. Now as the man start moving, within one hour, let's say these are the milestones in kilometer. Now let's say in one hour, the man moved up to one kilometer. In the same one hour, the car moved, let's say, four kilometers. Obviously, this four kilometers is very less vis-a-vis -vis the speed at which the car moves, but the idea is to explain the concept. So, the car covered four kilometers in one hour, and the man covered one kilometer in one hour. Now, different objects, I mean, just like in this case, a man and a car may take different times to cover the same distance. Now, if this man had to cover this four kilometer, how long will it take? He will take four hours, assuming he moves at the same speed. Whereas, the car moved at the same distance in one hour. Now, within this, what can happen is, let's say, if this was another four kilometers that the car had to move, it's not necessary that it will take one hour to move another four kilometers. The car may actually take a little longer. I mean, suppose there is a crowded market here. Okay, this was all plain road. But there was a market here. So to discover this 4 km, it may actually take the car 2 hours. Or whatever time it might. So different items, just like an individual or a car, may take different time to cover the same distance. To cover this 4 hours, he may take actually 4 hours. Similarly, different objects move at different speed. It's not necessary that you know you always take the equal amount of time to cover equal distance. Now because of these all, all these problems, you know, normally to measure motion we consider something called speed. So to measure motion we say that the speed of the man is 1 kilometer per hour. Now when we say that the speed of the person is 1 kilometer per hour, what we say is that how much distance was travelled by object now this object could be anything, the man or the car, in given unit of time. So speed is basically the distance, how much was the distance? One kilometer was travelled by the object in given unit of time, one kilometer per hour. In one hour it travels one kilometer. So, speed is used to measure motion. And then, this also gives a comparison of the relative movement of motion. So, here it is basically 1 km per hour. Here it was 4 km in 1 hour. So, it is 4 km per hour. And the speed is normally referred to as, speed is normally referred to as, the unit of speed as we call it, is basically meter per second 
also written as meter per second okay or it could be kilometer per hour just like I used it over here so to measure motion you use speed as the barometer speed is basically what is the quantum of distance which is being traveled by an object in a given unit of time why is the need to measure motion because different objects have different time which they take to cover same distance even otherwise even within covering that distance the the movement or the time taken may vary depending on what the other conditions are so if you are going on a road obviously you take less time if you are going through a market the movement is restricted so the time taken may be more